Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are clicking on a resource which removes the reticle when you are pointing a gun within GTA. And a few people have asked for this because they want to things more be realistic. You don't have reticle in real life, you shouldn't have one in GTA if you are doing roleplay. Um, so this resource does that. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Our goal, I think, let's set a new goal for 2021. Let's try to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, which is a huge goal. We'll see how it goes, but let's be hopeful. Anyway, let's get into this. So today we are checking out reticle remove. In order to install this, you're gonna to go to the link in the top of the description and go ahead and click that GitHub link directly from the plugin page. This will take you to the releases tab and you're just gonna go ahead and click download the source code zip or the latest release. Open this with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these files. Windows also has a built-in file opener as well. And then you're going to navigate to wherever your resources folder is. If you are on a localhost server data folder, you're just going to go server data resources or however you installed it locally. If you're on TX admin, it's probably in your TX data folder, which is also a local install. But if you are in Zap hosting, they're going to give you an FTP file access, which should allow you to navigate directly to your install as well for your resources folder. And then in here, what you're going to do is this is an important one because a lot of people mess this up on other resources and then everything doesn't work. In here, there is a secondary folder, which is actually the folder you're going to drag in, not the overall folder. So go in, see the second folder, and this is the one you're going to drag into your resources folder. Make sure inside of this folder you have the stream and FX manifest file. If you don't, it's not going to start correctly and then nothing's going to work. So when you're in here, you're just going to go ahead and right click, rename, copy the name of the folder. Do not rename it. This makes it easier for us in the long run, because when we navigate back to our server.cfg file, which we're doing now, when you edit this and add ensure the name of that uh, folder right here. So I just go ahead and paste in the name of the folder. Um, you want to make sure it's exactly the same as the one that you have in your resources folder or it's not going to start. Reminder for um, our Zap hosting folks is you must have edit this over on their web interface. If you edit it in an FTP, it's probably not going to save when you get over to the web interface. And then when you start up your server, there's a way to make sure everything works correctly. Inside of your starting up, you're just going to wait and make sure you see the name of the folder. So uh, Wolfhouse Reticle Remove started resource with no errors. We are good to go. Let's hop in game and see what it looks like. All right, so I am in game here. I'm going to pick up a snowball. And then you can see if I go ahead and select the snowball and aim, there is no reticle. I can't see where I'm aiming. So it just makes it a little bit more realistic for uh, the folks who want more realistic aspects inside of your 5M server. It's going to be the same with all the weapons in the game. So even if you aim a weapon, you're not going to go ahead and have a reticle. I, this breaks every single time I try to do this. Um, there we go. So you can see there is no reticle. You can't tell where I'm shooting, but I can still shoot. All that good stuff. Um, so hopefully this made your server more realistic. Hopefully you can use it in your server. If you have questions, leave them on the resource page uh, for the author. But otherwise, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.